see light. Oh, okay, yeah. Two of them done. Yep. So, uh, yeah. That's for our photography. Mm -hmm. And these are cushion tripods, cushion stands. See how it comes down slow? Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah, just don't drop. So I basically used the uh, LED shop place to buy at Costco. Mm -hmm. And I put these swivels on that my buddy Luke gave me. And I made up these brackets and stuff to hook onto the lights. And then we just turn them on. And we can put them way up. Like so. And that's it. And I'm waiting for another one. To uh, It's for the green screen, right? Yeah, I'll have one in the center overhead. One in the center and probably a bit ahead. Then we got another one coming with a overhead boom mic. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, that's not what I'm at. I'm starting at this old timer. Okay. This here is a 1979 GS750L, and it is a Suzuki. Of course, the Vetter fairing. That's what they call that. That didn't come with it, but that was that was quite popular in its day. Not a particularly big fan of that stuff. And anyway, so it came in. Well, first of all, we only showed up with this in hand. That's a stand. That's a double stand. So anyway, we get there talking. And he said, you know what? He said, maybe I should bring in the bike. He said, there's a couple other things on the bike. And a couple of other things on the bike is this. Somebody welded that on there, like that, okay. and it, uh, it's fugly. fugly. It's fugly. Uh, I'm not a real fan of the way that's done. So we're going to try to take this all off, and we're going to clean all that up. And then, of course, during the conversation, we ended up with another issue. And I'll, I'll have to put the bike up for this so you can keep it rolling. One thing added to another. Uh, yeah, it, uh, we'll put the bike up and then you can see exactly what we're into. So let me lock this in place. your camera. Give me your camera and I'll show the folks at home. Yeah, because you know where you're looking. Yeah, well anyway, this air is a four into two exhaust. <laughs> I'm glad you were holding the camera and not me. Voice activated. That's our voice activated compressor. <laughs> so anyway, if you look, I don't know how I'm going to do this. I'm going to have to take the handle off the camera yeah, so I can get so. down under. The handle is off the camera. Now, let's see if I can get it under here to show you. This exhaust has had work done, as you can see here and here. It's not done properly. So we're going to attempt to fix that up for him as well. So, and also, the engine guard got a crack. You can see right there. So that needs to be repaired as well. And just... Uh, Try to go along and fix up. Hang on, I get this. I'm not used to carrying the camera like this anymore. No, it's hard to do. Right? What saying. Yeah. Yeah. I like the color of it. Yeah, it's a nice color. It's a great bike. It's still a nice bike, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just needs some little TLC. And, you know, I'm not putting down the other people's work who did that with the backrest. It's just that they probably what did they what they had to work with. Exactly. So we're just going to see if we can do what we have to work with yeah. and see what happens. So I don't know what I'm going to tackle first. I might uh, look at the stand. And once I get the stand mounted again, I'll be able to see where I'm going to modify the crossover for the exhaust and oh, see yeah. what happens. See, you got a piece broke off. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So it's got to be right here. Yep. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. So I'm going to get to it. I'm back. So how's things looking? Sad. Sad. Very sad. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, but I had to cut most of it off it because it's all seized on and 
Seized on, grown on. Terrible. So, make sure it's clamped in because you don't want that coming off the ramp. No. So, this is what somebody had done. Look at the pipe squat. So, I mean, it's just, it's just not going to happen. It's restricted, isn't it? And they got everything welded solid. So what I'm going to have to try to do is try to make up something better than this contraption. So, wow. just don't know how I'm going to do it yet. So, it certainly complicates things. Yeah, it kind of do, don't it? What do you do? What do you do when you live in a shoe? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not straightforward. Nope, it's the... Uh, well, that's the way it is, I guess, over the years, because it's been modified. And yeah, and then there's some studs. They, they're, somebody got bolts put in for the head, and that's supposed to be a stud with a nut on it. And one it was actually broke off. It still broke off, so I got to try to do something with that as well. So... Oh, it just it's, it's like you're getting in deeper and deeper and deeper. Yeah, the more further you go. Yeah. The deeper you get. Exactly. So I have to try to sort this out now while I can. And hopefully get all this to line up after. It's aftermarket mufflers. So. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you sound like you're getting ill. Uh, this stuff just just tra it just follows me, don't it? It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Huh? You're a magnet. Oh. Hey, I better put some I better put some straps on that because I don't want that thing falling down. So, hey boy. Yeah, I got hooked up here too, but I'm free. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, time now. Well, you know, anything can happen. I lost my whippersnipper cord, like what's that doing out here? I have no idea. I got everything cleaned up except up there that shelf. Yeah, you gotta tackle one shelf at a time. Yeah. So, we shall... Uh, clamp down that one. Clamp down this one. Well, you know, it's the middle of January, so it's not like he's gonna need it right away. No. It's the best time for him to do it. Well, it, really, you know. people come by here and they ask you to do all kinds of stuff in the mid, you know, in the spring and the summer. By that time, it's too crazy around here to to deal with it, right? right. And then they usually want it quickly because they do want to ride. Oh yeah. Well, it's yeah. not standard, but you know, if you plan it late. So I'll have my little pick at it. And when I get poisoned with it, I'll walk away from it. Yeah, take a break, come back again. Yeah. You got a bit of plate? Oh, we're back. I didn't mean to scare you. Jeez, you're really worse than paparazzi. Oh, yeah. Can't get much worse than that. I'm trying to show you what I'm doing over, over here. Because you're going to be in my way here. Oh, well, we don't want that. Well, I don't want it. I know what you want, but I don't want it. See how I'm going to swallow this up? Do. I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to do this. So one pipe is going to go here, over like that, because okay. this was just a, oh, a terrible mess. It's still a terrible mess. And then I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to put that there, okay. not wrong end, that end there. And then I'm going to cut it, and then I'm going to, the other pipes go here. Then I got to make up a crossover where all of these will meet underneath. Now, in theory. Okay? <laughs> I know. In I theory. Plan. <laughs> it might never look anything like this by the time I'm done. Well, it's coming along now. It's, it's just, yeah, it's just, just work it out as you go. Yeah, it's just kind of ticklish, right? I got yeah. to get it done.
here. Then I gotta make another one to go over here. See it there now? And then I gotta put a, a crossover between them, right? Yeah, what's going on here? There's too many dead stops, there's not a good flow. And plus, it's all squawked to pieces. So I'll have it looking like. Sorry, guys, it's making me dizzy. I'm spinning around. Like yeah. Stuff. That's the way it is here. Yeah. You're in my flight path. Well, I know. I'm trying to stay in the flight path. It's yeah. Not easy. You're in my flight path. That's not good. It should be nice when it's done. Should be. Okay. If it's not, I'll just sit back and I'll just cry. I'll just bawl my eyes out. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. That's not going to help anything. Make you feel better, I suppose. Yeah, should. I think it will. Yeah. Where's my uh, marker? Marker's gone. He's gone up and walked away, probably. You got. It. You laid it over there. I did. Yep, 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 yep. It's, uh, it's too bad I never had to make a full exhaust. I would love to make the full exhaust. Yeah. Come on, back in the four pipes. Oh, yeah. Two on each side, oh yeah. All the Hondas I had, like growing up, like the 354, the 554, and the 754, they all had two pipes on each really? side. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Wow. You know? You'd like to have your creativity flow. Oh, I just like to be able to make something custom, not not try to doctor it up like I'm doing here. No, yeah, it would look nice though with uh, double plate. Yeah, but it is what it is. Yep. Hey, bye. It's fun. <laughs> Starting to get dark out, so get a bit late. Oh yeah. Mhm. Mm cool. Cool. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. cool. All right. Back okay. Okay. Now it's my turn. It's almost supper time, isn't it? It is almost supper time. Yeah, you've been taking your time with it. Well, I'm gonna take my time with it. Like some people would say, well, you know, you spend, you know, a day at this, and but you know what? It's his bike, oh, yeah. and and it der deserves the same attention yep. as a brand new Goldwing or a Harley or anything at all. Exactly. You know, it's not me to determine what's good and what's not. Nope. Hey, bye. Yep. So anyway, folks. Kathy, can you go over there? Yeah. And move that stand up that is there? Uh, yeah, push it right up. Okay. So I can show the folks at home. So folks, that's what we got so far. Okay? Now tomorrow what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it down and I'm going to uh, drill out the uh, the ports up here and uh, so the exhaust can flow through. And I'm basically gonna mig it. Don't even need to dig it, I'll mig it. No digger? I'm not gonna digger. I'm gonna mig her. Bigger. Bigger, yeah. So that, I should take a picture of that. Yeah, take a picture of hey, that. Hey, bye. Yes, bye. So I'm taking a picture of that there now. And from that to that ugly thing. You can let that stand down now if you like. Cool. And then uh, what I can do, then I can take the, when I get that welded up tomorrow, we got vehicles due tomorrow, don't oh we? Oh my God, yes. Okay. See, look. Can I'm we go to supper soon? I'm just, I'm just getting into this now, see? Just getting interested, yeah. right? Now I'm going to have to be pulled off it, right? Yep, vehicles tomorrow. Yeah, so anyway, but what I'm going to do is uh, i got to modify that stand oh, now. That must have been, yeah, tied up with a tire. No, rack. I put that there, see? Did you? Yeah. Keep it up for you. So i got to modify that, see, to fit. There's another little piece that goes on that, so I might have to make this up to come down and go up around that. Oh, yeah. You know? But anyway, yeah, that's minor stuff. The, the pipe. Yeah, that's minor stuff. I'll fix that. Wow. Anyway, folks, got a you want to go and get some supper, do you? Yes, please. What is wrong with you? <laughs> I'm hungry. Oh my God, you're always hungry. <laughs> Try to keep working. Should I be able to feed you? It's five o'clock. Uh, somewhere. Not here. 
Ten to five, that's close enough. No, it is not. It is. No, it is not. I'm yes. not allowed to go early. You're not going early. By the time I get locked up and everything, that'll be five. You'll be locked up if he leaves now, <laughs> I'll tell you that. I'll call the cops. <laughs> anyway, folks, I'll see you in the morning. Want to say goodbye to him? Goodbye. See you in the morning. <laughs> Good morning. Day two on the motorcycle. Do your prayers, of course. No, he's like, now he just brought your customer home. You should know that. <laughs> I know, but I know I mean after you do that. I know, yeah. Nah, that's, there's no rush for that. He's not going nowhere. It rained last night. Yeah, it did. And it's supposed to snow tomorrow. <laughs> Typical. And the customer dropped these off. They're off a of blow snower. Yeah, what's that? They're skids off a of blow snower. He said the problem is they're digging into his driveway, so I'm going to widen them. Like a dad. Like a dad. Like a dad. Sounds and, good. Hmm? Sounds good. Yeah, it's no trouble. And then I'll show you something. Uh, we will show the viewer something that they haven't seen here before. A tubing notcher. Tubing notcher? Yeah, you probably don't even remember this. It's kind of dirty here now, dusty. You put your tube in there. Ooh, yeah. Put your drill on the end. And get the angles that you want. This is all movable and adjustable. This can move up and down or whatever way, right? Yeah. yeah that's the one you made, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. A long time ago now. Say, they yes. never worked good, boy. Yeah. Really oh, well. it works super cool. Yeah. The only thing is, last time I went to use, I couldn't find it. Now I remember, you said, oh, where's the tubing that tried Yeah. Made? I didn't know. I thought I might have lent it out and didn't get it back, but. No, it's, uh, it was there, it's just that I couldn't find it. Yeah, so that's, that's the tubing nodule. Kind of cool, made of an old, uh, out of a strut. And it's got uh, oil pregnated uh, bushings inside here in the block. And of course, uh, one thing about making your own tools, if it breaks, you can replace the part yourself because you just have to remake the part, right? Yeah. This is something we bend that steel. Look, I think it is one of hat. This here? Here where the oh yeah, that's no sweat, buddy. We got technology for that. I just heated it up first. I laid it on a picture of your mother, and that turned blood red. And I just put it in the vase. Nothing to it. That's our secret weapon. Now everyone's gonna. Watch. Everybody's gonna. Watch. No, yeah. So that's it. So I gotta do the bike, but I gotta do the bike after I do the vehicle. So I gotta yeah, go back. The keys there on my desk for that. Yeah. So oh, I'll, I'll start bringing them in now. I just had to clean up first. Oh yeah. Just no. left it all yesterday evening. We had to. Yeah, I see. What do you do? Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching you. <laughs> I saw you haul that gadget out, so that looks interesting. While we're on the subject of notching pipe, people who aren't used to really notching pipe, this is what I refer to as a cheater. It's made by Pipe Master. This particular one fits one and a half to one and seven eight pipe. Show you how it works. You basically take your pipe and you put this over the pipe. Are you with me so far? Yeah, I am. Okay, now, <clears throat> say for instance, you want to notch that pipe out to fit this pipe. Right. What you would do is you would take this, lay it up against it, and you would go like a that. Yeah. Then you would pull it back and you would mark this and you'd mark the underside of it and you would notch it out. Then when you put the pipe back on, it would fit. Wow. Isn't that slick? That is slick. Yeah, that's slicker than grease weasel poop. <laughs> yeah. Now, yeah, say for instance, yep. you with me so far? Yep. Say, for instance, you wanted to cope, or notch, sorry, that pipe on an angle. Coping is kind of like wood. <laughs> yeah. Whoop. You put it on an angle like that, and you do the same thing. Yeah, See, so you, you get it close, right? Yeah. Then you'd fix it up on this end, and you'd fix it up on this end. Are you with me so far? Oh, yeah. Okay. And then you would notch it there. And you would turn it over and you would notch it on the other side. Mm -hmm. And that way, when it went together, it, angled. it would be perfect. Like a dad. Like, like a dad. So that's made by Pipe Master, guys. I can't give you a link to it. Well, I suppose I could if I wanted to look, but I'm going to let you guys look for a link. Yeah, 
because uh, I don't even remember where I got these things. And to be perfectly honest with you, I really don't use them much. No. Matter of fact, I had to go look for them. To, <laughs> you know, so it's just one of those things that you buy because you, I guess you could say you got it. Well, a lot of things are like that. You don't yeah. use them for a long time. No, then you, it's true. You but it's a nice tool, and, and they come in very small sizes. I think you can get them down to three quarters of an inch or an inch, right on up to whatever, you know, biggest 45 gallon drum. <laughs> <That would laughs> I don't be a know. Big match. I don't know, you know. But yeah, so, uh, so they, you know, anybody who's starting out doing a bit of pipe work and they're not sure about how to notch a pipe or getting their angles properly, well, you can get, you know, you know, you don't have to buy the full set, you have to just buy the ones you're used to, you most commonly use. And that way you can, uh, you know, you can experiment with them. And uh, it's kind of a, a nice aid yeah. type of tool, you know, for that kind of work, right? So that's the tip of the video. Nice. Cool. If nothing else would make for a nice Google search. Well, that's it. Yeah. So here, we get a close up of it. Yep. Got her. There you go. So that's it. I got to go to work. Yep. Got to go to work. because of safety police. Yeah, we don't want you getting in trouble. Oh my gosh. You weren't wearing safety goggles. We're going to uh, send the Gestapo after you. <laughs> Alright. Been there, done that. Okay. Let's have a look-see. What our homemade break Poor man's break. Couldn't afford to buy one. Well, you it. that's what you did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Come on, now go just right there. I'm only guesstimating this. Huh? I am, I am. I is, I is. Yet, huh? Oh, yeah, we got a ways to go. What do you mean, we? We? Well, you're there helping, aren't you? Well, <laughs> uh, I don't know what you'd call that. We're not quite sure. Recording for posterity, like a yeah. uh, historian? Yeah. yeah. Show everybody so the world can laugh at me. No. Oh. Got a little bit more to go, huh? We're getting there. Yeah, we're getting there. Baby steps. Mm -hmm. So we're like measure twice and cut once? Yeah. Got her? Oh. Wow. What thinkest thou? Pretty good, eh? So we, we're going to repeat the process. We're going to attempt to. know what this is this is an inner pack system and this inner pack system is uh, 120 volt 
course, as you can see, is remote. It's dirty, but it works quite well. Bought it at an auction, and I just slapped together the old press. Press, by the way, I'm going to make some changes to. The press, there's going to be a video on it where this here is going to be adjustable. I can move this over to the side. Should have, it's going to be done by a bearing system, so that's, that's later on. I don't have time for that right now. But yeah, so this is an interpack system. That's on. That's uh, neutral. And that's off. And you can actually take this on job site with other rams and hook it up and have your mobile hydraulic pack for jacking up vehicles or, or whatever or equipment. I've never used it for that. I bought it. It was used in a, uh, in a welding lab for testing welds breakage point on, on welds and the ramp the uh, ramp the uh, press that it came with had like a like a wood splitter outfit and it used to just put it in between these two things and it had a gauge on it would tell how many ton it took to break the weld and I remember my brother and I at this uh, at this particular auction and I saw an outfit with this on it my brother said what are you going to pay for it and I said I'll pay up to uh, two thousand dollars for it he said, holy smokes, you know, he said, that's a lot of money. I said, I only want that, I don't want the press. So anyway, I ended up getting it for 900 And uh, later on, remember you had called in to the distributor? For Interpac. For Interpac, and how much was it? It was massive, it was thousands. It was $5,500? Yeah, I was going to say 66000 Yeah, it was 5500 for this, I believe, at the time. Yep. And then the cylinder, I think, was even extra. So. A few years back, so. Yeah. So, yeah, that's a good, that's a. 17 years. It's, well, it's back a ways. Because I did yeah. not want a hydraulic system. And I did not want those foolish things that you put the air on. Like, no, I didn't want that either. I want boom, boom, boom. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> <You know? right. laughs> anyway, I will weld this. Just check and make sure you're working. Oh, I'm working. You got your vehicle in? Huh? You got your vehicle in, one of them? Yeah, well, I got... It's got a caliper gun, too. So, we'll change the caliper. The caliper. Here's the caliper. The caliper. And I got the pads for my buddy, Jerry. Maybe he'd be happy, happy, happy. Yeah. It's pretty simple. It's not a, a strenuous type of job. It'll make life a little easier for a friend of mine. Yeah, for sure. Uh, go wrong. He makes uh, homemade beats. Yes, he does. And he keeps us going in beats. That's right. <laughs> gotta look after him. Yes, gotta yeah. look after our supplier. <laughs> in beats. In beats, yeah. Yeah. I told him never let him never let anything happen to him because I don't want to have a look for another source for beats. <laughs> yeah. No, not at this stage in the game. I mean, he's been supplying us for over 20 years. Yeah, exactly, right? Good guy. Maybe the oil change here yeah. first? Yeah, okay. oil change the brakes. contraption so far, right? Gee, well, that looks good, though. Yeah, well, what I'm doing is I'm, put, I'm putting it on, marking where it got to go, drilling them out, then using the uh, the rasp, carbide rasp, and I'm getting the holes right round type of thing. Then I'm going, then I put it on, and I just tack it, I pull it off the bike, come over and weld each piece. And I'm going to do that now till it's all, till it's all done. You don't have to have so much, I guess, Stuff taking up space, I guess, because there's a lot of material here before. Oh, I yeah, was a mess before, to be honest with you. Yeah, I'm trying to be kind. Yeah, well. I know you don't think I can be kind, but. <laughs> not possible. <laughs> well, I'm trying. <laughs> Gotta go to work. Wow, now that turned out nice. Well, it's a bit better than what was there. And 
certainly lighter. Can you see the difference? Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that, but it is better. Yeah. Yeah. Much better. So it, it is what it is. Yeah. yeah. That's good. I can put it on now and sew the bottom of her up then, and then I can just do the other stuff, right? Yeah. Do the stand and. If it was mine, that's the, well. If it was mine, I'd probably put the whole exhaust on. It'd be all stainless, but and I wouldn't have the 90s on it this way. I would have it more of a an angle. But I'm kind of restricted because I got a kickstand. Oh, okay. Center stand kind of restricts you from doing that stuff. Yeah. So and plus he's got their aftermarket mufflers, so yeah. they're they're universal. That means they fit nothing. Oh. So I'm trying to make that fit the bike. And accommodate the kickstand, the center stand, and accommodate the fit nutting mufflers. Wow, you got a lot going on. And I mean, those mufflers, like when they took them apart, they had all kinds of bushings and spacers and shims put in there. Oh, yes. And there was shim stock and everything put in there, like even metal, tin foot, not tin foil, but metal wrapped around to keep up to make it tight. But when I made that, mm. That manifold, well, I ended up making it the same shape as the muffler, so it's going to be one clamp, no, none of this anymore, and it's way to go, right? Yeah, fit. yeah, so, and we have packages. We do, yeah, I just did a mail run. Okay. And, uh, we got so, a few packages, I'll upload those because i got to go to the grocery store now. There's going to be a video on one of them, so that's later on. Yeah, so i got to get back to work and we'll try to put this on and make it on, and hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully it'll fit now. Uh, of course it'll fit. Psst, hey, wanna buy a used H? <laughs> <laughs> Says the street, remember that? Yeah, that's right. And then you say H. Shh. Yeah. He <laughs> along trench coat. Wanna buy a used H? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> okay. Yeah, right on. The fumes are getting to you. Know, I that's did, yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. We'll say that's what it is anyway. Yeah, that's what we're going with. Yeah. The old muffler, or muffler, you take it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so what happened was, uh, of course, this is another day. Yesterday we kind of got fooled up with vehicle repairs. Today we're supposed to have a nasty kind of a day. Oh, yeah. It's supposed to be uh, 50 to 90 kilometer hour winds, supposed to be uh, 5 to 10 centimeters of snow, turning to ice pellets, turning to rain. Not sure it might turn back to snow. I know. <laughs> it's an easterly wind, so it's blowing right at us. But anyway, the guy had taken this off, the center stand off. So originally it was just a center stand that showed up here. <laughs> and he said, Can you fix it? So I said, No problem. So we got talking, of course, and the, the whole bike ends up here. And I said, Where's all the parts? Oh, they're on the bike. So he forgot to, to give me the center spring for the center stand. So he uh, showed up last night with that, and of course, when he saw the exhaust, he just loved it. He was, he said, well, he couldn't thank me enough, which was kind of nice. You know, you, you put a lot into this stuff, and you, you know, oh, yeah. you, you, you uh, it's nice when the outcome turns out like that. So now that being said, we got to talking, and he said, uh, well, he likes his old bike. He's had this since... Uh, I think he had it, it was about a year old, it only had 3,000 kilometers on it when he bought it. So he's had it a long, long time. But he said, the people that's been working on it hasn't done the job for him, so. And I said, well, you know, I always liked that style of bike. I, I never did like the fairing, and he's told me that his son didn't like the fairing either. So he said, take the fairing off. So that's another job, we're gonna take the fairing off. And the other thing we're going to do is, so of course, we got to fix the rack yet. we got to fix this yet. And then he said, well, the uh, clutch fluid, or brake fluid has never been changed on it before. So when we did the test last night, the moisture test, it was up in the red. It was off the scale. So we're going to be doing a brake, a brake fluid for, uh, flush as well. Jeez, that's a, yeah, 
Tongue twister. Molly Tang all got tongled up and started back talkwards that time. <laughs> You're still doing it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't even know. <laughs> and, you know, it's been like that since I had to pave way drive. Yeah. Anyway. So we're going to continue on as if we were normal and see if we can make some difference. But the problem is here is this little snub piece now is hitting this aftermarket muffler. So we've got to take that off now and we got to uh, modify this and cut this off and that there pretty well seems it's uh, seen its day. So we'll try to do something with that and yeah, try to make a difference to it. So, oh, so uh, I see you got Luke helping you. Yeah. Stand. But it's been been a few people here. Uh, yeah, so I'm just I'm getting that. So we were talking, myself and Luke, about women. And we admit to it. Really? And we've determined, well I've tried to convince Luke that women can handle much more pain than any man on the face of the earth. <laughs> Why? And I've proven it. Yeah. I, I proved it. I proved it the other morning. And I'll tell you why. I went in to shave, okay? And I'm looking in the mirror, and I got this one eyelash. That's about that long. <laughs> okay? It was like a fish story. No, but it was, you know, like it just, it wasn't proportionate with the other eyelashes. You know? It was kind of like, what? It was kind of like kids back in the 80s had little rat tails. Well, I had a rat tail on my eye, eyelid. <laughs> So anyway, I said, hmm, will I cut it? No, if I cut it, that means tomorrow morning I'm going to have to cut it too, because that's the only bit of hair left on my body that wants to grow daily. <laughs> okay? Okay. So anyway, I said, well, I'm going to do what Kathy does. I'm going to pluck it. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I reached over with my lobster claw fingers, and I pulled and almost yanked my head into the mirror. I said, brother. So I concluded that that was anchored like a tree limb, like a tree root, to probably some nerve ending to the back of my head. So I looked in, I said, well, you must have tweezers. So I looked in the, in the little cupboard, and I found these tweezers, like they were flat on the end. They weren't pointy, they are were flat. Mm -hmm. Well, I said, I'll grab onto that. I said, it's either that or i got to go out in the garage and get needle nose vice grips. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. So I, I pulled, and of course, as I pulled, boy, I said, man, then I saw the skin like <laughs> moving out, right? Like a visor. Right, yeah, like a visor. He <laughs> come out, Jesus said, holy Jesus, it's like the brim of me head. <laughs> so anyway, I said, well, I'll tell you, what are you laughing at? This is a true story. So anyway, now I'm thinking, okay, well, frig, it's 8 o'clock. i got to contend with this hair. I can't go out looking like a freak with this hair hanging down over me eyes, right? <laughs> So I said, well, how would they do it? How would the women do it? I said, well, they pull fast, eh? Yeah. Ever see it done? <laughs> oh, yeah. They pull fast. <laughs> so anyway, well, I grabbed onto this hair. Now, keep in mind, I'm thinking, like, a hair on, on your eyelash is like an iceberg. You only see 10% above the water. So I'm thinking that hair is probably that long in behind the skin, right? Well, buddy, I was right. When I pulled on that hair, and that let go. It let go like a cable towing, like you're towing a car out of a ditch. I could hear the snap. <laughs> it must have been a big hair. Oh, no, I'm telling you. It. And I could feel the skin hit me back in the face, and then the water started to flow. And that uh, pain, like it was a delayed pain, like it was a, it seemed like about 30 seconds into it, the pain hit me. And here was the water all, man. The water was pouring right out of my eye. And I was trying to dab it with the face pot. Now my eyes red. Now I looked like some kind of a freak that was in the bathroom looking in the mirror screeching my eyes out. And I had to go out and sit in front of you now at the, the table eat my breakfast. I said, well, man, she's going to take on and screeching my eyes out. So I went to try to dab it. And every time I dab it, my, my foot would it, go like that. And I'm thinking, gee, now I know how, uh, what do you use that? The acupuncture. Meat, acupuncture. Like, so I concluded that that one ear <laughs> was attached to the central nervous system in the back of my brain because every time I touched that then my leg would shake. You know, I ever touch a dog and a dog shakes his leg, but that was the same thing, right? So 
but the pain, I, I have never, I had bursitis in the shoulder and went to, went to emergency at two in the morning. Yeah. I was almost ready to commit myself down in emergency again with that here. So I concluded bad. then that a woman can tolerate much more pain than a man. Well, you said because women, buckled, didn't they? <laughs> but women are in there at that all day yeah, long. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't imagine. They're at it all day long. Like it would take, like the United States got a good military. We yeah. all know that. But I'm going to tell you something. It would take every member of the United States Air Force to hold me down <laughs> to pull one here. Never mind waterboarding. Waterboarding, man. Waterboarding is only a walk in the park compared to what I went through. I had it all happen. It's a wonder that one here didn't paralyze me for life. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm telling you. Like, I, do did, hurt. I did not know I was going to be able to walk out to the kitchen table. <laughs> you were been in a bad well, way. I was at, and, you know, and I was too ashamed to tell you at the time. I was, I was actually, now for me to be embarrassed, how bad did it have to be? And I just concluded from now on, if I got a here hanging out, I'm taking the damn clippers and I'm just taking it all off. And I'll just glue a deck room or something on to make to take the place. That's so it was that bad, was it? Yeah. No, it was worse. I just don't have to know how to put it in words. <laughs> you're doing a pretty good job. See, yeah. when you're first explaining your talk, now you have to hold your soap up. Oh, I'm telling you. Look, it's crazy how, how how painful that. Do you feel any pain when you're blocking ears? I don't even notice. Oh, you're freaks. Oh you're all freaks. Right. You're all freaks. Have you ever tried it? I did it once. Oh. And similar like, reaction. Like, like I you know, now to be fair to men now men don't go sending me email saying you know you shouldn't admit it to that maybe a man's hair is is got is well is better anchored into a skin <laughs> now I mean there was something going on like when you can go to pull that slow and you're at the top of your skin your eyelid comes out about an inch and you look you look in the mirror and say my geez I'm so ugly I mean you you know you got half your face touching the mirror the other half is back here <laughs> so. Now maybe we're maybe we're more well anchored than we were. Oh, yeah. Now we can figure out why those men have bushy eyebrows. They, don't, they probably they, well, they went through what I went through. <laughs> that's right. That's like, true. Like I saw a guy in that's the mall point. the other day, and I'm going to tell you, he had eyelashes on. I'm going to tell you, he could have easily had it styled. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there was that much hair over his eyebrows. Well, now you know why. He looked like a shaggy dog. Don't you know? That's right. Yeah. That's why. And when he was looking at a cell phone, he had to go like this. <laughs> because oh, the eyelashes are coming down so far. But anyway, that's my story for the day. <laughs> okay. <laughs>up this is all it was all open like this yeah. and the other stand came out here and it had a big piece here so now it's it's modified now to fit around the exhaust right wow. so now I'm going to take it and I'm going to prime it just with some shaker can primer and then I'm just going to use some shaker can black paint I'm going to spray it and I'm going to install it and hopefully that'll be it for that particular job so we'll come back and we'll show them what it looks like when it's done for the kickstand is quite heavy, eh? I think I'm going to sandblast that and paint it as well just to make it look clean. I'll show you later. Where'd you go? You're there in one minute and got in the next. Oh man, I had some trouble putting that spring on. On the center stand, there it is, one. So you can look down here and you can see how it fits around the, the muffler. Oh yeah. Right? Yeah. And it's all painted and sandblasted. So that's how it's going to look yep. and everything like is greased and sandblasted so it works very smooth and then the regular side stand okay. Okay. so that's all working fine so yeah so I gotta just go at the rack now it's going to be some good to have the stand working it's probably a long time oh yes definitely a long time but you see even with the even with the side stand see how the exhaust comes up it's got to clear that look so, it's working out very nice, it's like it's perfect really, in, in my opinion, yeah, so, 
and it clears there and it clears there. Well, so. Spring clean up good too. Oh yes, yeah. But it was some bugger to get on. Oh yeah. Yeah, like there. Spring. If I had to leave all of that footage in place, there would have been a lot of beeping. Yeah. Beep. Like I would, I would have said spring beep 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 beep. beep. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, it's not that bad. Okay, what you getting ready to do now? There's many doctor time. Many doctor time? Yeah. So anyway, I ended up cutting the old backrest off. Okay, I see you got a clamp in there. Yeah, so over here, this is what it looks like without that mess on it. Now, you know, this is not going to be... This is not a restoration. This is only to make it a little bit better than what it actually was, right? Oh, we're all a lot better. So my plan, my plans are to uh, settle down, ramp. Yeah. Oh, I was just right anxious to get going, I know, right? You see that? And I'm gonna weld it on here, but I got to bend those arms in a little bit. Now, normally I would make a full backrest, but budget and time don't allow that. So, just gonna put it back kind of way it was, but better. So we're going to use the mini ductor here. Alrighty, try to, try to keep up, folks. To try to heat this up. I'm chasing you around. Yeah. So, well, nothing else has changed. Yeah. So rather than take that backrest off, man, I wish they'd make these friggin' things cordless. <laughs> hey. Be too easy. So what we're going to do? Let's see if we can heat this up just a wee bit. It's in kind of in, in rough shape. Look at the old carpet on the back of it, eh? Yeah. yeah see? So I'm going to try to just bend it a little bit. Easy peasy. I want to snap. It's working. It's working. That's in. Mm -hmm. Working. It's a lot better than using an open flame, eh? Turns yeah, so hot. or you touch it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Want to touch it? No. Yeah. So we'll take that over there. Okay. And we shall. Give her. Uh, think it's okay. that. I don't know what to think it's that. It's getting nasty outdoors. It is getting nasty. That's what I think is now. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh. Start to look pretty cool. Yeah. Might have to shorten this a little bit to get it. But it's, uh, I must say, I'm, yeah, I'm depressed. I mean, impressed. Very impressive. <laughs> I'm depressed. I mean, impressed. <laughs> You're not depressed. You're impressed? Impressed. So I'm going to bend this one a bit more. All right. We'll go on a bender. Yeah, that was good. The heat is nice on a cold day. Oh, yeah. A lot of people ask me about the furnace, how come it cycles in and out so much, but it's because it's cooling down. Mm -hmm. And that's the way it works, that's the way it's always worked. Yep, oh, watch you don't grab on the stuffs. Do it. So I'm going to shorten it, then I'm going to get the angle rate on it, yep. and I may end up putting a couple of gusset plates in here, uh -huh. and uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's actually pretty good. Thank you, uh, Mini Doctor. It certainly helped yeah. out in this situation, yeah, yeah. didn't it? Yeah, eh? how you were able to heat it up, and it didn't do any damage to nope. the problem or anything around it. Nope. Nope. Never even burned a no, vinyl. I, I would hate to burn the carpet. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to burn 
never. No. no. Yeah, never so, the boil, nothing. We'll come back and we'll show them a little bit more now shortly. Chop, chop. Chop, chop. Check, see, I got the angle right. Alrighty. We'll go check, we'll wait here. You think? Mm-hmm. Wait patiently. Uh, maybe we'll all have a look. Because we're nosy like that. Oh, yeah. Well, I think so. I got to cut a little tiny bit more of it. You want to snip it? Yeah. Oh, God. Don't say snip it. You don't like that word. I don't like that word. Not into that word. Chop, chop. Chop, chop. Still got to go chop chop a little bit more. Yes, yeah. If you're going to go chop chop, this is well to do it right. Yeah, not much. Yeah. This is so far removed from the way we usually do things. Yeah, but. Uh, that's going to be it. So, what I'll do is I'll take over to the Miller welder, mm -hmm. and I'll fill that in a little bit there, mm -hmm. and a little there. Make up some gusset plates to go in here. Mm -hmm. It'll it'll uh, it'll start to look like something now very very shortly. Can I watch a little bit of welding? Well, I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Tack that on the inside there now and get the angle right. You want to drive now. Yeah. 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 gusset on it, but you know, we all come in different weights and different sizes. Yeah, 
I suppose it's leaning back, pushing back. Yeah, you don't want that cracking off, right? Yeah, your weight, sometimes you're trying to get yourself seated more. Yeah, so I'm going to make up a little plate to go here. Okay. And, uh, yeah, I think that'll be nice. Let me put a, a punch a couple of slots in it, in the plate itself, mm -hmm. make it look a little bit better, and uh, then I know it's safe, you know? Because you don't want uh, you don't want anybody falling off the back of this. So yeah, I'm kind of kind of pleased now. What we got here is I've never used this stuff before. You're just gonna spray it with that to make it. I got it bead blasted a little bit. Okay. So we'll uh, we'll try that just to see what it looks like. It's uh, with Covermax technology. It's a silver agent, but it's supposed to look like chrome. But now <laughs> we shall see. That's what the label says. That's what the label says. So we can see. <coughs> Template. Template? Yeah, so what I'm going to do. Gussets. Yeah, that's for the gussets. So this is basically how it's going to look. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like that. All right. Mm -hmm. And I might cut a slot in it here. And the reason why I'm going to cut a slot in here is by some, geez, that's still warm, by some chance that he got to put uh, something on there, oh, yeah. package, you know, a place to put the hooks. Ooh. And plus it'll make it look a little bit less homemade-ish. Mm -hmm. You know, so one there and one there. Yep. And uh, yeah, we'll come back and we'll show it to him when we get him made. I'm going to use some one eight plate on it. Not so clobberish, and the fact is, it's safe. Yep. Well, that's all, that's all I can ask for, you know. Right. Once it's painted, I'll come back and have a look, see what that paint looks like. Yeah, I'm I mean, curious. I, I'm thinking this is going to look just like regular aluminum paint. Really? Well, I don't know, but I'm thinking it. Yeah, I know, this is deceiving. The cat looks one thing, but the description says another. But I had stuff one time that really, really looked like not chrome, but very close to it. Yeah, they didn't have it. You couldn't get it today. Yeah. So you had to try that one. Okay, so did you get chrome? Well, let me just tell tell Edward. Edward at Napa? What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he had his doubts too. Yeah. But you know what? It's better than rust. Yeah, you got that eh? right. So, you know, it's... Uh, I'm happy with it, and I'm sure the customer will be happy. Look, it, it's it's only meant to clean it up right. and to make it look better. Instead of having this coming down here and weld it on, arc weld it on, and mess up. So at least now it looks it looks more respectable, you know. Right. Uh, it is what it is. Hey, you know what? It's safe, it's secure, and it looks respectable. I'm gonna call it a day. 4:30. Yeah. Eh? Don't be loud, no, not when you're at this stuff. All right, folks, we'll see you in the morning. Signal lights are back on, but Avery, you don't belong to that bike, so he's going to get a set of four to fit the bike. Okay. And, uh, you know, like, I'd like to see that chrome, but then I'd like to see the rest of the bike chrome, too. Uh, yeah, and I got a uh, battery tender plug put on, or a, I shouldn't say battery tender, I should say battery maintainer, because battery tender is a brand name. Mm -hmm. One in which is my favorite, but, so I know I got that put on for him. I gotta take the fairing off. I got to take that sticker off, get that sticker off it somehow. And uh, and I guess I gotta change the brake fluid, brake brake fluid flush. So okay. and then we're getting down to it. Yeah.
Yeah, it's, it's nasty, okay? It is nasty. And we could have a tropical storm coming Saturday night. A tropical storm. A tropical storm. storm. A tropical storm with kidding? high winds. They said it's very, very rare. Very rare. Now, they don't know if it's going to hit us direct or if it's going to be, you know, off to the side of the coast. We don't know yet. Yeah? So, and it's so unusual because it's usually May or June to get it. when we get them. And there's, it's been very little snow this winter. So. Yeah, very little. It's odd. It's, uh, yeah, climate is really changing. Yeah, it? no doubt about it. Yeah, so that, that's basically what I'm at there now. It's, uh, you know, that looks a bit better than what it was yesterday with this thing coming down here. And, so, yeah. You know. So I had to put some, uh, I had to up, uh, fix up the battery a little bit. It was low on acid. And, you know, just a few little things. I'm not going to bother cleaning or anything like that. I'm just going to do what was asked to be done. And, and then he can spend the winter tweaking if he yeah, wants to. Right. You know, that's, that's the fun part for him. It is. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's very strong, what's done, you know. So we shall see now when I get this off. I got to see. I don't think there's a headlight pot in it. So, uh, at least there is, though. Really? Yeah, so I might be able to fix that up for him as well, right? Time will tell. So you got the kettle removed? Yes, carrying up. Well, I got trouble with the brakes now. Brakes? I went to change the back brakes. Yeah. Or change the fluid. And it's all uh, it's all seized up. Oh really? Look. Oh, yeah. Master cylinder's not even working. So I guess I gotta take that apart. Thing, found another yeah, that's it. What do you do? I don't think the brakes will work on this regardless. No? Because the piston in there seized into the cylinder. Ooh. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah. it's bar tight. So he technically never had no back brakes. He thought he did because they were hard. Ah. Yeah. They weren't working. They weren't working. No. So I got to dig in deeper and I got to take this apart and I got to see if I can heat that up somehow and get that loose. A whole new mess of trouble. Oh. <laughs> As the newbie say, all oh, me nerves. All oh, me nerves is right. Yeah. Did you make it with it? Yeah, the part. I used air pressure to get it apart. But you can see, this is what moisture does when it gets into brake fluid. Look. See it? Oh, yeah. It had it all seized up. Yeah. yeah. Well, it just starts to eat the, the aluminum. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I got any of that on the lens then. No. So I gotta clean this up now and see if I can if I can make it work, because you're not getting any parts for that here. I can guarantee you that. Nope, that's not gonna happen. Nope. So we got the plunger working now, look. Okay. Usually what you do when you got these seized, you get as much oil out of them as you can, you put them in your workbench, and you uh, heat them up a little bit with a propane torch, and then you put a rag over this end, and you, you apply probably three or four pounds of air pressure, and it will blow the plunger out normally. Okay. And then what you do then is you check these little ports in here, and there's two little ports, there's one little tiny, tiny one here, that's a bleed off and what happens is when you put your foot on the brake and you take your foot off it allows a little bit of pressure to come back out so your brake will free up if you have a motorcycle with the back brakes seizing remember we had a CBX six cylinder here a few years ago but he had her everywhere and couldn't figure out why the brakes were sticking it was that it was that little port so I used a propane orifice file and I went in and I just filed it a little tiny bit and it fixed the problem so Something to keep your eyes out, folks. Okay, there you go. See the fluid? Yeah. Now we got now we got pressure, huh? Yeah. Good. Yeah. So it goes to show lots of times you can save them without any parts. Yeah. It's, it's kind of nowhere to look. Well, you know, it's uh, you're never gonna you're never gonna bleed the brakes with the master cylinder stuck. No. So it's just as well to take it apart and, and 
fix it. And you know, just just don't discard it because I mean, we saved this, so this is this is perfect now. This will this will work. There's no leaks. There's so just a little lesson to be learned, eh? Yeah, it's a good you know? one too. Yeah, don't cry and screech and you know and sulk and like I just done off camera. <laughs> That's right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No, no. It it's it just goes to show it can be fixed. So I'll just show you so you'll have a little bit of encouragement if it happens to you. Yeah, don't be discouraged. That's right. Yeah. Of course it's it's not in the most easy place to get at, but That's kind of the way things go. Yeah. There's there's one down there you can only go by sonar. <laughs> yeah. It looks like it's in pretty deep. Oh yeah. And he's about four foot long, that bolt, when you're putting it in with two fingers. <laughs> you know? Four feet. Yeah, he feels that way. But now he's going back to get her because I cleaned him up on the wire brush, got the rust off the bolt. Yeah. And I put a little drop of oil on it, so. And it was helpful. Oh, yeah, that'll work. Uh, but he didn't have brakes. No. He took this out in the spring. Oh. Yeah. It felt like he had a brake because the brake was hard. Yeah. Right? Because it was seized. Because it was seized. Yeah. But he had no brake. Yeah. Seething, isn't it? Yeah. I guess he would have noticed it though when it came time to stop. Yeah, that's right. You know. Yeah. You don't notice it now. The feel would be different. Yes. Yeah. It'll it'll have a little bit more sponge to it than than normal, but it'll be working. Now in the meantime, I'm hoping that the calipers aren't seized now. Yeah. I don't know. Well, there's there's moisture in all of this system and it's been there for so long, right? Yeah. So it is what it is, we shall see shortly. It's working? It's working. Awesome. It's working very well actually. Probably is. Get the glue in the bottom. Yeah, so just watch. Wow, yeah. sweet. So we got clean fluid coming out of there on this side, but this is a double piston caliper. So I'm gonna bleed the other side. And if you have trouble bleeding them, you can hook up this system here, and this is a vacuum pump. Put that end on there, put that in there, and it'll give you a boost to get it to haul it down through the line, then you can bleed it that way as well. now and see you can see the old dirty oil coming out of it, huh? Oh, yeah. Alright. So that's the idea of it. We want to get all that that contaminated oil out of that out of that particular caliper. And then we start to see it going clear. Be okay. We got her done. Now that little vent hole that I was showing everybody there a little while ago, mm -hmm. that's basically what's going on with the Honda Goldwing. Really? With the, with the back brake sticking? Yeah. It's that little vent like that actually contaminated. Wow. And, and it's not really, technically, it's not Honda's fault, although they're looking after it. It's lack of maintenance on the uh, owner's part. Wow. Because they're not changing their, their brake fluid. Yeah, it's yeah. seasonal. Yeah, season up. It's just moisture is getting in. See, and it's corroding the aluminum. Yep. Aluminum, aluminum, aluminum. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Getting okay. clear. Looks like it's starting. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's coming along good. Yeah. Better put some more stuff in there. Give it another drink. Give it another little spell of it, yeah. And then we got to do the front. <laughs> <laughs> Might be seized as well. I don't know, I never checked the front because I've had it chucked in there now for a few days. Yeah, so that's the clean stuff there now. Okay. Yep. yep. That's the back brakes. Okay. It's nice to have the brake on there now. That's the flush. Yep. Cool. Well, it's, uh, it's done and the customer will see it done. When you can see it done. Yeah. And understand what you went about. I wonder how many says they're done and they're not done. I don't know. 
See, so nice high break. Look. Yeah, See, she's releasing. Okay, let go. That's working. So now I'm going to move on to the front. It's only been on that uh, that maintainer for a couple hours. Oh yeah. So it should start. Should start easy. You put a good battery. Yeah. Yeah. No, no sweat. No, no sweat. She's no. a good. That's a good engine. That bike. Nice. Yeah. Looks like the old engine. Oh, that's a. That type of engine is a proven engine, I can tell you that. Yep. So it's coffee break? Coffee break. Cool. Should make these things cordless. <laughs> you say that a lot. Well folks, that's it. We'll call this one a shot. I don't even know how long this video is gonna be because we've been Yeah, I know. And I got a vehicle out there by the door I gotta do now. So technically I just gotta wait the uh, the wax off the tank. And the rest is up to the customer. It's going to be clean up time for him. So we'll uh, call this video. Hope you enjoy it. Hope you got something out of it. If you don't, tough luck. What can I do? What can you do? It is what it is. I know. So you guys take care, look after yourselves, and God bless. You.